Hello, I'm Chad Blair with DC 808 On The Wire, another installment brought to you from our newsroom here in Kaimuki. This week we celebrate Kamehameha Day in Hawaii, but also in the nation's capital. Civil Beat's Kerry Murakami was in Emancipation Hall at the Capitol on Sunday for the lay draping ceremony, and he has this report. Aloha Chad, it's, it's Kerry Murakami again here in Washington, D.C., and I'm at the U.S. Capitol, which you see behind me. And I'm here for the, uh, for the King Kamehameha Day lay draping ceremony. And I'll take you inside where there's supposed to be dancing and lays and, and speeches and, uh, and, uh, oh, and, oh, and about 600 people. My name is Kahuna Mossman. I'm the president of the Hawaii State Society of Washington, D.C. Uh, today we're celebrating lay draping here in Washington, D.C. Um, it's meant to honor King Kamehameha. King Kamehameha is our first monarch who united the Hawaiian Kingdom. Um, so back in Hawaii, they have lay draping at Iolani Hale in front of the Iolani Palace and also on the Big Island. Here in Washington, D.C., we host it at Emancipation Hall. And um, while the Hawaii State Society organizes it, it's put on through the volunteers of many different members of the Hawaii community, from our hula halals to our alumni associations, to many different groups that come together and participate in this event. In Hawaii, King Kamehameha Day will be observed Tuesday, June 11th. But a lay ceremony for the great monarch has been going on for decades, beginning after the statue was unveiled inside the Capitol Rotunda in 1969. The statue and its solid granite base weigh more than six tons, making it one of the heaviest objects in the Capitol. In the fall of 2008, the statue was relocated to its new home in the Visitor Center. The statue is among other heroes throughout history. Kamehameha stands next to a statue of Helen Keller and Sacagawea, the Native American who helped Lewis and Clark on their exploration. On Sunday, hundreds, including state and federal leaders, gathered for the lay draping, which was organized by the Hawaii State Society of Washington. Traditional Hawaiian music was performed with more than 100 students and teachers representing 26 hula halau. Their visit was sponsored by the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. Three members of Hawaii's congressional delegation spoke. Representative Colleen Hanabusa received the largest cheers, saying Native Hawaiians are a proud people and deserve the same recognition as Native Americans and Alaskan Indians. Senator Maisie Hirono noted that this is the first lay ceremony in the Capitol without Senators Daniel Inouye or Daniel Akaka. The last lay was laid in honor of Inouye, who died in December. The focal point of the ceremony was the traditional draping of lei by the delegates, OHA leaders, UH alumni, and more. And that's it for DC 808 on the Wire. For Kerry Murakami and Honolulu Civil Beat, I'm Chad Blair. Take care and aloha.